ball, meatball, spaghetti underneath, ravioli, ravioli, great barrier reef. Did I get it all off? Did I get it all off? Yes, of course I got it all off. I recorded that bit like an hour ago, and I washed my face already. Why do people use that trope? You're not using the camera as a mirror, so why- Hello! Welcome to the Big Papa Breeze main channel. I will be your guide through today's topic. Did you find that intro a little bit jarring? Good! That feeling that you have, keep that with you. Because that's the point of the day. Let me lead you on a few examples and see if you catch on to what I'm talking about. You ever watched Invader Zim? Incompetent alien attempts to prep Earth for takeover. Sure, some visuals are a little gross, but nothing too graphic that a kid can't handle, you know? Except for this one. That one's a bit much. Now, at this point, you either already know what this is, or you don't. In which case, let me bring you up to speed. That is an illustration by Chris Graham, snuck into single frame snippets scattered about the last 14 episodes. Now you almost definitely won't notice it, but it's there. And I think you'll agree for a kid's show, something like this is a little out of left field. Let's take a quick turn, though. Have you ever seen the 1985 movie starring John Cusack, Better Off Dead? Does it ever feel like everyone's got more going than you do? Oops. Grounded mostly in reality, boy trying to win back the girl only to realize that's not what will make them truly happy. Good movie, with well-written characters. Totally normal to the outside viewer. Until, you know, the hamburger shows up. Yeah, the hamburger. Partway through the movie, out of the blue, you get a claymation hamburger playing electric guitar and singing Van Halen. This is a throwaway gag. A distinct tonal shift for like two minutes for like no reason and then they never reference it again it's as if it's back to your regularly scheduled movie it did really really good in test screenings though so i'll give that little bit of pass completely unrelated by the way have you ever seen killer clowns from outer space the magnum opus from the kyoto brothers practical effects creepy visuals, what's not to like? The Kyoto Brothers have made quite a few impressive puppets for quite a few productions. One of them involved a potato, right? Yeah, same guys. I don't have anything prepared to talk about the Mr. Potato Head show. I just thought it was interesting. What you gonna do about it, huh? Huh? What are you gonna do about it? Here's a real real strong example. Pokemon has had a strange fixation on randomly throwing ghosts in random places for some reason. Not ghost Pokemon bear you. Ghost people ghosts. Ghost ghosts. Beyond Lavender Town and, you know, White Hand spooky. I'm talking about the ghost of the old chateau, the ghost girl on the bridge, and like the whole intro battle with Phoebe in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And yes, I know there are more examples. I know. I'm just using those three. Okay? This isn't exclusive to the games, though. Right? Ghosts appear in the show occasionally. However, with those, none of them have the complete drop-off tonal shift of the episode Ghoul's Days, right? 
Now, this isn't a case of early Pokemon got away with doing spookier and edgier things. No, this is Diamond and Pearl era, right? Ghost Girl terrorizes children, tries to make Conway walk off a cliff, and yeah, lures people to the entrance of the spirit world to suck them into it. Not even cute or funny, just serious for no reason. And of course, the episode's never referenced again. Just a very jarring clash against the established Pokemon formula, you know what I'm saying? Couple more examples. Rick Steiner cutting a promo on an episode of Nitro, only to be interrupted by who? By Chucky from the Child's Play series. Let's be fair though. Lots of weird stuff happened in WCW. Sometimes the, the out of the place bit is saved towards the end. Kirby game. Happy pink man, inhale enemy, copy powers, and then you fight this guy. Now, I don't know about you, but this guy seems like he doesn't belong here. And that, my friends, is my feelings on the topic of, well, that just kinda happened. That's all I had. I'm... I'm done. Why did I make a video about mattresses? I don't know. Bye. Jarring.